Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. We received a laser in the mail from ACMR. We're going to go ahead and test it out. And I'm going to hand this over to Richard. So I'm going to be doing all the testing on my own. In this particular case, they did not ask us to do a product review. They just gave it to us and they wanted to see how we use it and uh, make a video from that. Um, we're a little bit crazy busy lately. We had some different things going on. You might notice the background of our garage is a little bit different. We recently discovered some termites and, and so we've had to take apart all the wooden cabinets that I've uh, built over the years. Uh, only a couple of them had some termites in it, but uh, they've gotten into the house, so we're stripping out the, everything down. And so, anyhow, because of this, and we also have some special guests that are going to be coming to live with us for a, for about a month. Granddaughter, granddaughter. Um, and so we're preparing for that, and in, in the meantime, she's going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do the test on our new Acmer P2, and so let's get right into it. All right, as I mentioned, uh, this is not going to be a real product review. I'm just going to go ahead and use it. There's some things that I need to get done uh, for customers and some things that I, I make uh, to sell regularly. Um, but before we do that, for any, any laser, new laser, or any new material that I'm going to test, we always run a test on the, the, uh, the machine. that We use uh, Lightburn to do a test to perform uh, test the different speeds and powers and see how that works on that particular wood machine and as well as the, the, the wood that we're going to be using it on. And in this particular case, I was prepared to do that, but contained within was this uh, test board. So hopefully you can see this here. So ACMR actually already did the test and they show you the different speeds and different powers of engraving and how that looks as well as uh, the, for cutting and you could use these settings already to determine what you want to do. Now this might not be 100% accurate because if you use the same type of wood, yes, it will probably give you the same type of results. If you use a different type of wood, this there might not apply at all. If you use this for acrylic, for example, it's probably going to be totally different. But this gives you a good basis to start with. And uh, so I actually have tested it out based, to see, uh, based on these uh, settings to see how it worked. I'm going to be using this for products that I need. So before I get started, I wanted to make sure uh, it's going to work because I'm using a different type of wood for this. I usually use mahogany. All right, so now uh, that here already was a plus, even though this isn't a review, but so let's go ahead and uh, get to work now. All right, I'm not going to get into the full details, obviously, on the, the, the setup of the machine itself. Uh, it was pretty much straight out of the box for something this large. I was pretty impressed with that. The frame itself is really strong. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start cutting and doing some engraving because we've done the testing. Uh, one thing that I cannot stress enough is safety. Uh, this this uh, machine is not encased in anything. I used to have a, uh, a little set up over here in the back corner where it was uh, I made a box so that I could put my lasers in there and do all the testing and not have to worry about uh, uh, laser light and whatnot or hurting the eyes. So this is something that's crucial if you're going to be using it out in the open. A must. Okay. Now, one other thing that uh, I have to say that really impressed me on this one here, I suspect there's a lot of them that, that are intended to do this the same thing. Maybe I just haven't set them up properly or not. This one here came with an air, air assist air pump uh, and almost every machine that I had we've always used an air pump on it. Uh, but the difference is that every time you go to use it you need to turn both the machine on and the air, air assist air pump and then you go ahead and utilize it. In this particular case it threw me off because I couldn't find the switch for this here. I started the laser um, for the testing and the air pump came on automatically when it was done it cut off on its own. That was pretty freaking cool. <laughs> so I'm pretty hit, pretty stoked about that one there. Now, let me get to work.
Every manufacturer is different. Some have just a piece of some sort of a block that they put underneath and you raise your laser head uh, and that'll be the, the proper distance. And this one here, there's a very simple lever that comes down. Also, uh, this here, which loosens the nut that allows you to raise or lower this, has a nice solid grip on here. A lot of them have just a, a finger tip type that I, even my skinny fingers, it's tough to get in there sometimes to tighten it and loosen it. If you use the same, uh, same type wood every single time, you don't have to move it a lot. But uh, this one here is just really, really, really easy to grip. Uh, well done, well thought up. Okay, now that you have the raise to the touch of the surface there, lock it in place, raise this back up, and your laser is now set at the right height that it needs to be to cut the next item. And this is another project that I work on often. We're gonna go ahead and make a Hawaiian flag. All right, we are now gonna give a try of one quarter inch thick, which is twice the, the thickness of the last piece that we did. Let's see how this comes out. All right, this isn't part of the actual laser here, but uh, without the laser, I wouldn't be able to do this project. Um, so we're gonna separate the white, reds, and blues. Uh, the top one is white, then it's red, blue, white, red, blue, white. So these pieces here, we're not going to stain at all. We're just gonna be sanding these down. We'll put those aside. Um, as I'd mentioned, this is red, this is blue, this is red, this is blue and this is red. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and summarize this, uh, the, my results of the P2, but before doing so, I wanted to show Jennifer the things that we made. So this is the first item that he made. And this is the Hawaiian flag. These were made really simply. I'm very, very impressed. Also, uh, we made this. Those are gonna be for our granddaughter when she gets here. So we don't have it finalized yet, but uh, I might make another video on that, on finalizing and show what we can do and the fun that we have out of that one. Uh, there's more to cut out for that, uh, the barn, yard, farm, thingamabopper. Something uh, that Richard loves to play with. <laughs> I think, yeah, it's probably more for me than her, but, <laughs> but hopefully we'll have fun together. I gotta say, look, we've done a lot of reviews on laser over the years, and um, I stand by every one of those. Um, it seems though that laser companies are getting better and better and better at what they do and the, the products that they put up with it. This one here, I am super impressed with. The frame was just solid as a rock and it came out of the box like that. Uh, so there was very, very little assembly involved. That was very impressive. I really like the automatic air assist. Uh, you just by starting up uh, the laser, whether it's engraving or cutting, and the air assist starts on its own. 
Uh, there has been many a times where I would start something, I'd stay in the garage, but uh, I forget that I'm working on something, I work on something else, and I come back and everything is scorched because I forgot to turn on the air assist. This one here, since the air assist comes on automatic, I thought that was super, super good. I love the fact that they included a test sample from the very beginning. I didn't have to go through all kinds of different things. I had a solid base to start with. I made some adjustments because of the wood I use is a little bit different, but I might have had to start from scratch. And, and oftentimes I'll make three, four, five, six different tests until I get the, the, the right numbers that I need for actual engraving and cutting. Also, I'd like to point it out that uh, the speed on this thing was incredible. It can go up to 30,000 uh, millimeters per minute, which is super fast. I tested a few things at that speed uh, for engraving, and it was actually still too powerful for some of the things that I wanted to do. The actual uh, old island uh, with the American flag engraved in the background, that actually came out darker than I really wanted. I usually do what I call uh, a watermark. I engrave it super, super light so you could just barely see a hint of it in the background. And then I put things in the foreground. And so you kind of have a mix of, uh, uh, wait, there's something that, oh, that's the American flag or that's a Hawaiian flag. And then you have the actual design on the front. And this one here, even at 30,000, it was so dark and it, it, it just, but it popped. And I liked it as it is, so I'm not gonna put anything on the foreground. So I now know that even at that, that speed, I can cut the power down to maybe 20% or even less and still get a really nice engraving on that one. Super happy about that as well. The fact that I was able to cut some of these uh, things up to one quarter inch and uh, yeah, it took a couple passes on that, but I didn't do it at 100% power. If I got closer to 100%, I suspect I'll be able to do this in one pass. Overall, I am blown away. I am super impressed with this machine thus far. We want to do some more testing, uh, if not testing, um, uh, actual work, some projects that I have to make for some customers. I'm going to utilize this and see how, how quickly I can make things on this compared to some of the other machines that I've made. Uh, they've also sent some uh, items within the, the box itself. I had some metal. I've had uh, some acrylic and several other things that I can perform some tests on. I might give those a try too. Uh, I've done metal before, but what they sent was this thick piece. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see what it is that I can do with that one there. I've seen some people that use laser diode lasers and it actually, you're able to create colors. Um, it has to do with heat and metal and uh, we won't get into that one there. But anyhow, um, we'd like to thank Akmer once again for uh, sending us the P2. We're very happy with it. Uh, we look forward to making some more videos about it. So until we meet again, bye-bye.